Hello and welcome, this is Melskinner, and we're back with some more Battletech. In the last video, we did some setup and travel to a new system, Brisbane, where we have a few promising contracts, but more importantly, we found a store that had an item that I've been waiting for for some time. So I'm going to make a note of this system, as I believe the stores will restock these goods that are more special, and we should be able to acquire more of it in the future. So, with that in mind, I did look at the contracts and decide on which one I wanted to do, but before I do that, I would like to take a look at our mech warriors and see if we have any leveling to do. As I did not do that in the last video. So I do have 5,000 experience, but I think I'm going to save that for this last level here for my pilot. We are going to be using Jalopy, so I should level her up if I have experience to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, okay, we're not getting that. I think we need to work on getting this unlocked as soon as possible, as that is very important as, as her being our backup support mech. Or pilot, I should say. So. Okay, moving on. Decker. Doesn't have enough experience. And Behemoth doesn't either, unless we want to improve tactics, which I... You know, there could be benefits of that. Indira uh, minimum range reduction. For her, that actually makes sense to do, because she uh, her main weapon is an LRM-15. Now, if we ever give her a different mech with a different loadout... And that wouldn't necessarily make sense, but at this particular moment, I'll go ahead and take it. One of the benefits of uh, going and doing these lower difficulty missions is we're going to be able to build up experience for some of our pilots, in particular Jalopy, trying to get her up on the level of Glitch. I mean, Glitch is going to be out for a while. All the missions we're going to be doing in this system is going to be with Jalopy, at least as long as she stays healthy. So... Let's go ahead and go do our contract now. We've done this. So the one I've decided on is repossession. I like the, the mission uh, description, but I also like the environment. Tundra, we're not going to have to worry as much about heat. Okay, so I kind of decided I want to go more for money than salvage. I don't really know if there's going to be mechs here. It could just be vehicles. In that case, I wouldn't really want the salvage. It's just going to be weapons systems and what have you, and they're usually not special. At least I've never encountered a special weapon system on a vehicle. There could be. I, I don't know. I've just never seen it. But this is quite a bit of a, a money upgrade I'm seeing. I think I'm going to go for it, although I will regret it if we see a lot of mechs, and they're mechs that I, I, I you know, are promising. But, oh well, let's go ahead and continue. Sometimes you have to make that call. So we do have a little bit of experimenting I'm going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab the Shadowhawk, and that's going to be our new scout. And it does have, yeah, five jumping movement. It's going to be a little bit better damage, and, uh, you know, it's going to give us some stability damage and some other benefits. Jalopy's going to come on down here. And I guess that's the only real changes I'm going to be making, just using a different Mac and a different pilot. All right. I think we're more or less ready to go. I should check on Ruthless to see if she's still uh, getting any experience because time has been going on. I think the last time I checked her, she had like 920, something like that. So I'll try and remember to do that uh, if I get the opportunity. But let's go ahead and deploy. We're still at two and a half for tonnage here. All right, we're ready to go. I am noticing that it does say that there's a secondary lance of mechs here. So there are indeed mechs. Target vehicles have been detected in this area. Commander, move up, make contact, and engage the targets. Keep an eye out for enemy mechs as well. Alright, so we're probably going to be facing a lance of vehicles and a lance of mechs, would be my guess. Alright, now I don't have to worry as much about Decker outpacing me, but even still, I'm going to grab Jalopy here and have her run through the forest. Uh, we are going to be running uh, our fighting uphill if we continue on this course. I also have to consider how I'm going to get up. I guess this way. So maybe we should have her travel a little bit more over like that. Confirmed. Okay, and Behemoth is going to go with her. Position confirmed. And then you are going to move up to give us that sensor contacts, hopefully. And... My character will go with you. Okay, this is fairly far away, so... 
There's no telling where the enemy mechs are going to be, though, in relationship to that. All right. Let's start with Jalopy again. Doesn't look like we can quite get to the woods up here. Uh, so, I think instead, I'm going to have her just do a normal move. I'm all right with her moving out of the woods because I'm going to brace anyway. Okay. Emeth is going to go with her. And again, we can't quite make it, so... Same kind of move here. Moving out. The one thing I have noted in a battle that I, I did uh, outside of this campaign, if you use Vigilance while you're in this phase, it doesn't actually give you any initiative benefit once combat starts. So... Kind of just a little interesting factoid I didn't realize until I, I tried it. <laughs> but it does give you the brace benefit. It just, unfortunately, you don't get the initiative benefit as well. Lifting off. Because he has Master Tactician, on sensors. we will have still that initiative benefit. So he'll act like he is a light mech rather than a medium one. But we will not be able to beat a light mech to the punch like we were able to do previously using a light mech. But it, it seems like once you start getting up to the three skull difficulties, you're not really seeing any light mechs anymore, so probably not going to matter. Looks like in this engagement we will have somebody on the light uh, side, though. Well, we're going to continue to reserve here as the opponent does not have vision of me. You need to do so. We see two vehicles are on the heavy side. It's hard to say what initiative phase they go in. I don't think we see the Chevron because we don't know. We don't have enough information yet. Waiting for the right move. Okay. Well, now we know they're both going to be during this phase. All right, well, we cannot uh, reserve any more. So it's going to be up to Decker here to do his thing. Looks like we may even be able to establish a physical line of sight. Add it there for a second. Okay, it may look like I have to go... Ah, there we go. We can stay within the woods and get some evasion if we want that physical line of sight. I don't know what kind of weapons I'll be able to hit him with. Maybe only the AC-5? But it's better than, I guess, nothing. I'm not sure that would be the best course of action, though. Because then the vehicle would be able to light me up. It's very likely I'd be able to get vision on me anyway, though, with where it is. So, ah. Uh, I would prefer more evasion than where we're getting, though, is kind of where I'm at. Yeah, so it's only going to be the AC-5. It's an SRM carrier, which does worry me a little bit. But if we're not in range of weapons, it's not in range of weapons. And... I could go Vigilance just to get that a little bit of extra defense, but I don't think it's going to necessarily be worth it. We are going to want to take this thing out, though, so it doesn't get closer and light me up. Okay. So, at this point, it's got no defense, so I think we have Jalopy. Um, I guess she can just stay put. She will get her guard up if we do that. 80% uh, is not a great hit chance. Moving up would probably give me a better one. So I'll move to here. I'll get it within sensor range, which will give us a better chance to hit. Not a huge difference, but... All right. I don't think these things have necessarily the greatest armor, and we've already stripped its armor, so the likelihood this is going to just kill it is pretty high. Um, we did not establish sightline on this guy, though, so I don't really have... Maybe this is not the best 
thing, but I'm just going to make sure it's dead by firing all of our missiles at it. Because we don't want this thing to hit us. Yeah, that was probably way overkill, I realize, but again, for the kind of firepower it can sling at us, we didn't want that to hit us. Okay, looks like we have another one at that level. But they were supposed to be heavier vehicles, so I guess that makes sense. Alright, so now the question is, can we get line of sight on something else? Oh, no, I want to jump. Hit escape so we don't accidentally move somewhere. Okay, it does not look like I can, I can establish line of sight. So, any move that I do, you know, it's going to be... doesn't really matter. We had a beep boop. Where is it? Okay, there we are. All right, we might as well brace up. And then behemoth. Orders. Um, might as well sprint. We'll be able to cover more ground. And maybe get a flank attack attack in here. Going full speed. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile All right, we walked tank. right into the enemy mechs, unfortunately. And they're going to be light mechs, so we know that they're going to be able to get me. Well, in theory. I didn't move that far. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have our first appearance of an urban mech. That's technically possible. Well, they haven't seen me yet, so I think we should might as well just, you know, do something to react to them. Because the only one I could be able to move with is Shadowhawk, which I, I just don't have a strong move, in my opinion. I think taking out these guys first makes some sense. It's also possible, though, they just try to avoid moving in here, so... Alright, well, they've moved. Let's continue to reserve here. Because they don't have a line of sight of me, and I don't think they're likely going to establish it. Even in this turn, I don't know if they'll be able to. Okay, so we have a potentially medium mech there. We don't have any info on it yet, but... When it moved, that's probably what it is. We have a heavy vehicle, although it's only 35 tons. Okay, there it is. That so sees my griffin. And that vision is dangerous, so we're going to have to take that guy out. I didn't check to see. It looks like the armor of the vehicles is full. So I'm going to go ahead and have Jalopy Orders. just attack where she is. She doesn't have the best facing for these mechs. I don't think she'll be able to see them. But it would be nice to get that guard up. But we have a good potential here, I think, to just kill the striker. So we're going to go for that. But then again, the strikers have decent armor, so it didn't work out. Fortunately, now this guy sees us, so he is a threat. What's well, a demolisher? They've got a lock on me. All right, well, that's a little bit worrying. Thankfully, it's not in range to hit me. But that means I probably want to stay away from it. So... With that in mind, I think retreating is a good move for right now. I just don't have a way to really attack these guys uh, enough to kill a demolisher anyway. And we don't want him to be able to follow up on me. Now, there is a potential I go after him now and they may be able to finish him off before he, does, before he moves. But that's, that's a risk that I don't think I need to take. And taking out these guys makes some semblance of sense. Um... Problem is, I don't know if I can really move into a position to attack them. Well, here I'm doing a lot for us. We're getting that that vision, and I can use vigilance here to give me initiative advantages. So I'm gonna go for it. Okay, use vigilance. All right, so we've got a commando. We've got another commando. So we've got two different variants of commando, and then we've got the striker. No, honestly, I, I I think the striker is probably the bigger threat here. Um, I could split my fire, though. Let's do that. So, I will have you be A, you be B, and we'll sling the medium lasers at, at B, and this will be A. I'm hoping it kills it, but you never know. 
All right, let's fire. Engaging multiple targets. There we go. Do a little bit of damage on the commando. Sensor showing a new hostile. Ah, all right. So I didn't know about that vehicle, and it apparently has LRMs. Not a ton, unless it just didn't fire them. All right. Standing by. What do we want to do with this? I think we uh, go after these lighter mechs and take them out first. Uh, I'm going to jump here. We're only going to get another AC-5 shot, unfortunately, because I, I think we're a little out of range. Uh, we'll keep going after the same one, though, because that makes sense to do. Locked on. Commander. Then we have Behemoth. We could stay here and get guard, but I honestly think we're better off moving. And we'll get vision of whatever this other thing is. It's a 50 ton mech, and then we have an unknown mech. May even use vigilance too. Give me a little bit of protection. I mean, that's kind of what our dragon is meant to do, is kind of go in there and brawl. So closing that distance makes sense. But getting vigilance makes sense as well. Gives us a little bit of an initiative advantage. All right, so we've got a trebuchet. Okay, that's a little scary. I think we keep going after the commander, though, despite the fact that we're going to be doing half damage. All right. So the commander I hit is going to move now. It's going to go after the fire dragon. Uh, and we took a head hit, but we have that defense, so that didn't count against us anyway. All right. So we have a couple mechs that can go now if we want to. And there would be advantages to doing that. Uh, for one, the Shadowhawk going now makes sense. I think jumping makes more sense in that context. We get a lot of evasion, and we get closer. So we can really smack these guys. And I think we just kill the commando. I mean, it's already moved, but it's also has no real defense outside of a, a tiny bit of evasion, so... Okay. That hit something good. That's going to take out a little bit of its firepower, make it a little bit less of a threat. Okay, so that guy was standing in the geothermals, but he's moving out now. Okay, miss. Now, it is possible that this commander is the only commander that can see me, although the fact that, you know... It's possible this guy could see me too, so I, I can't confirm that for sure. We've got pretty good defense here. We just don't want to let the Demolisher hit me. Uh, even with half damage, Demolisher would hurt a lot, so I don't want that to happen. Throw over reserve while we have decent defense up. Okay, a Centurion. Ow. Okay, got a fair number of hits there that I wouldn't, wasn't too happy with, but... Guess I'll take it. Alright, in this case, I'm going to move mostly to distance of myself from the... the threat that is... the Demolisher. I don't want that catching up on me. I mean, it's going to be slow, but... Alright, what I'm going to shoot at, I'm not really sure yet. Picking out the Commando has certain advantages, but also reducing the damage factor of some of the other mechs. Also makes a little bit of sense. 
Uh, I'm tempted to go after the Centurion and the Trebuchet. Split my fire. So, you're A and you're B, and this is going to be B. And this is mostly to burn through evasion, but also, you know, give it a little bit of ability damage or what have you. Affirmative. Okay, we got a hit hit as well. That may short shorten the fight. We're able to get more pilot injuries beside that. Oh, that's right. I don't have breaching shot. That's the reason why I did that. I forgot I don't have glitch in this fight. All right. So Shadowhawk took a little bit of it, a little a little bit, a lot of bit of damage. Okay. So the trebuchet is going to be the biggest threat to me. It's the thing that can do the most damage. So we do want to take that out, if at all possible. Uh, it also is going to have heat trouble. So if we can get in there and hit it with his flamers, with our flamers, that'd be nice. Um, problem is I also like having defense. So the Centurion same thing because it has no no defense up right now. But yeah, let's hit the trebuchet here. I feel like I'm splitting my fire a little bit too much. But I should be able to concentrate here. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multi-target here. You're going to be A, and you're going to be B, and the only reason I'm doing that is so that I can fire off a medium laser to reduce this guy's evasion. Alright, now let's fire. Okay, that was a lot of stability damage. Unfortunately, we didn't hit with that. But we should be able to knock down Failed to connect. the trebuchet. And I'm going to just unload on the thing. So I'm going to jump in here. We have a good firing solution. Okay, there we go with the knockdown, which will prove useful in the next turn. We'll be able to light up the trebuchet. Okay, here comes the demolisher, which we don't even have it sensor range anymore because it must have moved away. Okay. All right, so Decker took a lot of damage in that last turn. Standing by. And I really don't want him to continue to take that damage. Sure. Um, so we'll jump and we'll get that evasion up. I think I'm going to hit the uh, commando that doesn't have much uh, defense just to try and take it out. Engaging jump jets. My other mechs can take out the other opponents. And... Fire. Okay, he's dead. Good. Mech warriors, show what you so that's got. some damage we don't have to worry about. Yeah, walk on that geothermal. Okay, he didn't hit me at all, but we had good evasion. In this case, I'm going to hit and run. Uh, maybe. I mean, it makes sense for me to run. But we're going to hit the trebuchet to do as much damage there as we can. There are advantages to hitting the centurion because it's going to go next. And if we can knock it around a bit, we may be able to knock some of its weaponry off. So it's tending to do. Um, we are hitting from one side, though, which I don't know if there's really a possibility we'll be reducing its damage too much. Uh, I mean, we could take the LRM out. I could also hit it with a precision strike, which would... Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll go after his left torso. All weapons are 
challenge committed. Okay. We're going to jump back. Um, as far as it'll let me get away with, uh, unless moving back makes more sense. I don't think it does. I think jumping back makes more sense. Just don't want to overheat. Okay. And Jalopy going to move with an attempt to get further away from the Demolisher, which may be a problem. And we're going to hit the down trebuchet. Try and do what damage we can. Um... Okay, we'll go after the left torso here. Firing on target. Don't think we hit anything really that mattered, fortunately. Trevor's gonna Shay's gonna be able to get up and do a full damage. It's unfortunate. But it didn't shoot much because it was worried about heat. So that. Okay. So that has pretty much made me want to hit the Centurion, which we'll do more damage on. And again, you know, we may be able to knock him down. Uh, you know, we've got a decent amount of stability damage. Although I don't know if this mech necessarily does that great of stability damage, but we'll go ahead and open up here. Okay, we get the, get the knockdown. So that's our second pilot hit, I think, on that guy. He's going to be able to just get right back up. And unfortunately, we didn't reduce his damage uh, at all, which is what we were trying to do. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Light damage. Holding firm. And we get some LRMs coming at us. And only one of them hits, so that's not too bad. Alright. Receiving you. Looks like we can go in and punch if we want to, and I am tempted to do that. As we'd still build up decent evasion, we are running pretty hot. We we'll do 140 damage. Which is not bad for us. I think I'm going to do it. Give us an opportunity to cool off. And it doesn't really worry so much about the evasion the mech has built up. There we go. That's what we're looking to get. Something like that. The Shadowhawk may take damage here because it doesn't have a ton of evasion up, but I just feel like that was, you know, a decent call. Uh, I think we take the Trebuchet out before it's really able to retaliate, so... I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do that, but from what I've seen of the heat scale, I think I can get away with another unloaded salvo. So, we'll open up on the Trebuchet, which should be pretty beat up at this stage. Yeah, we'll be able to get away with this. All weapons committed. There we go. Second mech down. Okay, thankfully that missed. Reporting major armor loss. Uh, the Shadowhawk's doing okay for me, as far as... Okay, now you have Guard up. This is where I, I miss having... Uh, Commander. 
glitch. I'm going to split my targets nonetheless. Uh, I don't know if I want to aim at this guy though, because from what I've seen, we have a block target like this, and it's against... When it's a uh, mech in the way, it could hit them, and I don't want to hit my own mech, so... I guess we're just going to open up on the Centurion here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. That was something I wanted to happen earlier. Okay. Receiving you. Behemoth. Going to finish back here. Uh, we could do a precision strike, which has benefits. If I could take out the leg, I'd knock him down. I think we do that, because I'd do another pilot injury. Take out that leg. Now, unfortunately, we didn't do that much damage to the leg. The, the only... <laughs> the medium laser hit, but... They've got a sensor lock on me. Alright, this guy's starting to get close, so that's a little worrying. Ooh, a PPC as well, huh? Alright. So we are going to have to start worrying about those guys fairly soon. Getting a little tiny bit too close. Good to go. Alright. We're going to jump away. Hit. E. Matter of fact, it makes a little bit more sense for you to get in behind, doesn't it? Do full damage. Acknowledged. All right. Yes, Commander. Okay, I'm gonna hit the uh, Centurion here with, with the LRMs. Trying to mess it up before it gets a chance to go. Hopefully we get those leg hits. Fortunately, no. We might get the knockdown... Ah, I was going to say, we might get the knockdown anyway. Oh, we did precision strike him, though. Ah. Huh. Alright, I'm a little bit concerned that they may catch up to me here. Uh, I think I jump... Get a little bit away. And... I just want to push the guy over. That's that's my main goal. We're going to fire weapons to do that. So I'm going to do multi-target. You're A, you're B. I'm going to overheat if I do that, of course. So... Um... Ah. Uh. Okay. So I guess it's going to be... Alright, never mind. No multi-target. That it's going to be just you. It's going to be a single SRM-6 hitting you. Because I need that stability damage to knock him down. Alright, we killed the leg anyway. So this, sh this should be another pilot hit. And now he's done. Kind of was hoping what I, you know, earlier when we were trying to take out the leg, we could have done that a while ago and saved us some trouble. All right. I can't hit him with flamers, so that's good. I'm also looking to, you know, get a little ways away. So we're not going to eat too much damage here. All 
All right. I don't see a reason why not to open up with everything. Uh, we'll save the LRM-15. Acknowledged. Okay, we only hit with one flamer, unfortunately. They don't sense a lot. Well, they should be able to see me. Yeah, I'm not too surprised that's hitting the dragon. All right. Going to be up to... Becker here. To hit this guy... Enough to maybe do some significant damage. Take him out. These guys won't have vision of me anymore. On it. There we go. That was way overkill, but we got it nonetheless. Target eliminated. All right. So I think this is going to be more a recovery phase than anything else. We're just going to uh, move and recover. I'm going to jump back to get some distance away from the enemy. Because they can sensor lock me. want to give them a hard time. Get some uh, cooling done. Good to go. Floppy is going to sprint. Get further away and hopefully outside their sensor locking range. Uh, looks like I'm going to be angled in a way that I don't really uh, want, no matter what. Now, the thing I'm really trying to avoid here... Is ...getting hit by the Demolisher. So, just trying to get it some distance there. They may be able to hit my Shadowhawk. This is one of those instances where I wish I had the dragon had some jump jets. To be able to get right where I'd want. Now we'll move in there. It's just a decent amount of evasion. Again, they may just sensor lock me here, though, so... And there they go. Sensor locked. sensor locked the dragon, so... They thought. No, I'm not too happy about that. Armor breach. Internal damage. Hell yes. All right. Orders. The biggest threat to me is that demolisher. And I'm trying to think what I can do against it. Technically, this vehicle is heavy, so it will. There's a vehicle that's heavy, so it will go first. I think we wait for that. I could be getting that wrong. Oh, okay. I guess there is no vehicles that are heavy. Either that or I killed them already. All right. Well, I'm a little unsure how we're going to handle this sucker. Waiting for orders. What I could do is move back just to the minimum of getting that sensor lock. We're losing some damage here, but it gives me, for sure, line of sight. And we're staying away from the Demolisher, which is the important bit. Okay. That's Mana Core. That's what's been hitting me. Back up and... Fire. I might even okay. use Vigilance here to give myself some defense, because they've already hit me quite a bit, and I don't want to get hit anymore, so... Go ahead and use that. Turn on that LRM-15. Locking on target. Okay. 
And between what I have that can fire at range, I'm hoping we'll be able to take out that mana core. On the other hand, the uh, mana core has pretty good armor, so this isn't going to necessarily be that easy. Coordinates received. But at the moment, this is the only thing that really can hit me at range. Alright. The Demolisher's gonna go first. Didn't sensor lock me, which is interesting. Jump in, I'm not within range of fire of firing here. But I could present a target that they're going to be more inclined to fire at, and honestly, I don't want them to hit my dragon anymore. They may be able to reach me. Ah. Uh, honestly, I don't know if that's the right call, though. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to get a little bit of positioning here. And I'm going to brace up to give myself a little bit more time to cool off. Because we're going to have to engage that demolisher at some point. Okay, so it couldn't see me. All right, this is the point where I'm going to have to attack. Uh, I can't just keep sitting around, so... I'm going to wait at least until my character can go. I'm going to jump in here. I guess get the most out of my evasion. And hopefully we can take both these guys out this turn. If not, then I'm presenting uh, fresher armor against the Demolisher here. Alright, we're trying to take out the Mana Core, because that's the one we've already done decent damage to. All weapons committed. There we go. That one's done. Enemy unit destroyed. And now it's a scary Demolisher. Gloppy can just stay where she is and hit this thing. Um, we could go with a precision strike here, but rather save things for maybe something else. Seems to have been pretty decent damage. Okay. Standing by. In this case, I want to get the dragon out of there because it's already taken significant damage, but it can still do decent damage. Yeah, so we haven't even really scraped the armor yet, despite doing as much damage as we've done. Yeah, I don't think there's a uh, high likelihood Commander. that we're going to take this thing out this turn. I think we just take the AC5 shots that we have available, and we hope this thing can't get in... And do more serious damage to mechs that have already taken damage, because... That's a lot of damage you're talking about there. And I didn't get, you know, full... Defense either, so... On it. Next turn, for sure, we'll be able to take it out, but we're gonna have to take this damage. It goes. It missed. That's the important bit. All right. Now we'll be able to follow up on it. Standing by. You are going to jump in and get as close as you can so you can open up with your weapons. Aye, aye. Maybe enough. Maybe in punching range of the Griffin as well. Which vehicles take more damage from that kind of thing, so... Let's see if that's the case. No, it's not, but... I think we have Jalopy attack first. That way we're not obstructing vision or anything. 
on target. This might be all the damage we need, but we'll see. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Better not be. Alright. So I, I'm guessing that was the bug we encountered last time. Mission successful. Okay, we did pretty well. We get a bonus for destroying the enemy next, which is nice. We're getting uh, up to uh, 800,000, so uh, that's really nice. We get some reputation with the this faction, so that's good as well. Fortunately, the Fire Dragon is going to need some repairs, but it's going to be minimal. Okay, salvage. Looks like we can get another Centurion if we want it. I don't know if I necessarily want another Centurion. There are some cool things you can do with Centurions. Uh, as a matter of fact, I could turn a Centurion into a support mech. If I wanted to. We do have the potential of getting another Trebuchet, though. So, I'm going to aim for that. And we'll just pick that part up. And then outside of that, meh, anything here would be nice. we got a lot of SRMs. So... I mean, there was an SRM carrier, wasn't there? I don't remember. I think so. Well, we ended up getting the Centurion part anyway, so that works out. All right. All right. We have another priority priority mission. I finalized the details of our trip to our true Commander Gunner, with luck, the map Dr. Murad Mar discovered will lead us straight to Castle Nautilus. Contract is ready for review in the command center. All right, so we have another Centurion. I'm not going to read through this because it's a mech we've already unlocked at some point. The question is, what am I going to send down? I may send up our... our... Hey boss, we've just completed okay. those upgrades. That's done as well. I think I'm going to send down the one of the extra Jenners. I think the Shadowhawk as a scout worked quite well. It's nice to have a couple light mechs around just to have them available, especially the fire starter, which has a certain niche. But having two generators, generators doesn't make any sense if we're going to be using the Shadowhawk as our main scout. So in that regard, I think we send this one down to storage and we have ourselves another Centurion. We have two Centurions right next to each other to confuse the crap out of me. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.